We know the cubed root of 8, it's 2, and so we're looking at a delta x value of 0.05 to have us investigate cubed root of 8.05. And we're looking at a function, f of x equals x to the one-third, so f prime of x is one-third x to the negative two-thirds. We're looking at a special value a equals 8, and again, f of 8 is cubed root of 8, which is 2. And f prime of 8 is 1 third 8 to the negative 2 thirds, which is 1 third 2 to the negative second, which is a third times a quarter, which is a twelfth. And those are all the pieces of the puzzle that we need in order to construct L of x. So L of x is supposed to be f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. f of 8 worked out to 2, f prime of 8 worked out to 1 twelfth, and then we have a times x minus 8. And that's the equation of the line tangent to the curve at x equals 8. Now we would like L of 8.05, so we'll have 2 plus a twelfth times 8.05 minus 8. The 8.05 minus 8 represents our change, delta x, and now we'll simply work out the results here. And so we have a 2 plus a twelfth of 0.05, so throwing that into a calculator, we have 0.05 divided by 12 plus 2, equals about 2.0041.6 repeating, and that's actually an exact result for L of 8.05, and that's my estimate for the cubed root of 8.05, 8.05 to the one-third. Now let's check how we did. So the actual cubed root of 8.05, calculator value for it is the following. It's about 2.004158 or so. And you can see that we did a very good job, that we got very good results here. Our estimate of cubed root of 8.05 is very close to the actual value. And to conclude this example, I want to just briefly look at things graphically here as well. Cubed root of x has a graph that looks something like this for positive x values, which is the region that we care about here. It has continues back like this as well. And we're looking at x equals 8 and then x equals 8.05, where again I've exaggerated the difference between 8 and 8.05. And we can see we expect a tiny increase in the cubed root result, and we did get a tiny increase of 0.05 times a twelfth as our estimate of that increase. And this 1 twelfth times 0.05 is df, and, and this portion of the decimal result past the 2 is delta f. And again, df came out really similar to delta f. And so our result here is the 2.00416 repeating as our approximation for cubed root of 8.05.